What's up guys, Jab here back with a brand new video and today I wanted to talk about something that I thought was super interesting and that is the new Android flagship processor that we're going to be seeing in Android devices going into next year. Technically, they're already available, uh, but it's mostly in China. So here in the States, we'll be seeing this in flagship devices going in next year. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because this has huge implications for mobile gaming and also other types of games being played on mobile. Uh, for example, like we've talked about in previous videos, PC emulation and stuff like that. Super interesting topic in my opinion. But yeah, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like on it. it really does help us out. And also subscribe if you haven't. We're getting super, super close to 25,000 subs. I think we need like 300 more or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hit that goal. But anyway, the processor in question is the new uh, Snapdragon 8 Elites. They've ditched the uh, 8 Gen name. Uh, so, you know, yeah, the 8 Gen 1, the 8 Gen 2, 8 Gen 3. This is technically the 8 Gen 4, but I guess they've ditched that name. And now it's just called the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Uh, this new processor, <laughs> it's insane how powerful it is. It's a massive jump from the previous generation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen uh, 3, uh, which I actually have. I have a Samsung Galaxy S24, and that one has the uh, the 8 Gen 3. And I already thought that that was a really, you know, really po uh, powerful part processor. But this is in on a entirely different level as we can see here this article from notebook check says snapdragon 8 elite powered red magic 10 pro achieves a record high n22 score uh and tutu of course super popular benchmark that people use to uh, benchmark these mobile devices and stuff um basically they tested it <laughs> and look it got a 3 million score uh in the n22 benchmark which if you have ever used the N22 uh, benchmark yourself, you know that 3 million is an absolutely insane number. I think my Galaxy probably gets like, I don't even know, 1, 1. 1.4 million, 1.5 or something like that. I, I'm not even sure to be completely honest, but it just goes to show just how much of a massive jump this new processor is. And again, the reason why this is important is because this has huge implications for mobile gaming going forward. You know, we're seeing these Android processors now, like the Snapdragon 8 Elite, essentially bringing like PC class performance, but in phones. Here's another article written by Android Police. And in it, they basically reference a tw uh, tweet that has a, uh, one of these uh, flagship devices, the Snapdragon GT7 Pro, actually emulating PC games. It is an older PC game, to be fair. Uh, I believe it's Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is like 10 plus years old now at this point, but it's still very impressive because it's running the game very, very smoothly. This is definitely better performance than you'd see on something like the Nintendo Switch, for example. Uh, and again, this is through PC emulation. So emulating, you know, games and stuff, it, it takes a lot of power, especially when you're emulating a whole computer. Uh, and that's exactly what this phone is doing. It's able to actually play, as we can see here, it can play Assassin's Creed at 60 FPS. And this is not a native game. This is through pure emulation. So that's very, very impressive. If the game was actually natively available on Android, it'd probably be running even better because it doesn't have to use those additional resources to actually emulate the platform. There's a lot of various uh, videos like this, people playing various games and stuff i think there was even a report that uh you could play the original red dead one which just released on pc uh you could actually play that through emulation on the uh snapdragon 8 elite at above 100 fps which is absolutely insane and then here i wanted to go ahead and expand a little bit on that pc emulation uh this is another snapdragon 8 elite demonstration by eta prime in one of his latest videos where he's actually emulating fallout 4 game of the year edition on the snapdragon 8 elite he did mention that it's at 720p low settings, which is basically what you would play, uh, you know, those settings on like a Steam Deck or something like that. But he's actually playing the game, as you can see in the top left, he's playing it at above 60 FPS and it looks very, very smooth. Again, this is very impressive because this is not a title meant for Android in the first place. This is through PC emulation, which is a very demanding process. And yet even with that, the Snapdragon 8 Elite can play these PC games at above 60 FPS. And all of it really is thanks to this GPU that they have, the Adreno 830. Honestly, this is a massive, massive improvement based off of like the previous generation and stuff. Uh, and also the CPU as well. We're basically seeing now that this uh, Android processor has again essentially brought pre PC performance but to Android devices and this is just the first step obviously this is just you know the first Snapdragon 8 Elite branded uh, processor obviously going forward we're going to see you know further iterations and of course better performance and stuff personally I'm really excited for this because I just want to be able to see Android games or more specifically Android the platform get games like we saw on iOS with the whole Resident Evil series for example you know we saw Resident Evil 
evil come to ios uh basically like in the last one to two years we have games like resident evil village for example which came to iphone and ipad but they were limited to certain devices and stuff these games didn't actually come to to android they are playable right now on android technically through pc emulation and in some cases they actually even run better than these native ios ports uh and i imagine that that's only going to become even more prevalent when we get more powerful android processors like this i don't think people really realize like this thing is insanely powerful this is more powerful than a ps4 this is more powerful than even something like the steam deck uh and it's coming out next year basically here in the states at least if you're in china it's already available there uh, and it's coming out in all of future flagship devices the realme gt7 pro is already available for purchase and i believe it's only like 500 us dollars it absolutely crushes the performance of something like the iphone 16 series for example and those devices are way more expensive we've definitely been getting a lot of demanding games on mobile in the last like year or two you know we got weathering waves we got you know zenless zone zero we've gotten things like of course warzone mobile in the last year uh and a lot of these games it, uh, they can push mobile devices to their absolute limits right now and so we are going to need more powerful hardware uh if we're going to continue getting these pc ports or these just very demanding mobile games and it's great to see that android is not going to be falling behind to ios anymore because we're getting such powerful processors now that are capable of literally playing pc games but on a phone but yeah super excited for this honestly i cannot wait to see more devices get benchmarked with this processor can't wait to see what samsung has in store for us can you know oneplus uh even the red magic 10 uh seeing you know how it is utilized in mobile games and stuff super exciting topic in my opinion and it's really it's just a hopeful uh you know outlook for for android just the fact that we're going to be able to run pretty much any mobile game we want on the absolute max settings possible and then on top of that too if you you know have a little bit of know-how you'll be able to emulate pc games even on these devices just a really interesting topic in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and with all that being said guys thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one